Alright, we're gonna look at Rod, cleaner jerk here, at 245. I think he was going, nope, this is 265, sorry. So he gets a clean and he gets kind of stuck on the jerk, so let's check out kind of what's going on. Because we gotta beat Camille. Alright, so he does a pretty decent job of getting the knees back and out. I like that that bar is starting to rise up on his shorts. I mean, he's he's um, bringing it pretty close into his hips. And this is a pretty good violent shrug. I like how that shrug is starting him on the way down, right? He's not floating down. He's actively pulling himself underneath the bar and does a good job of racking it, trying to squeeze the knee out. And that was a really hard front squat. I think that's why we kind of lost some juice on this um, push jerk. But one of the things um, we were working on with Rod today was his um, rack position. So he can't really rack it across his shoulders or his chest. And so he's almost pretty much got 265 pounds sitting on his hands and his wrists right now, which is not the most ideal condition. So we're going to try to kind of work on maybe getting those hands out a little bit wider and uh, getting that bar across the shoulders if not at least across the chest so that it's sitting on something other than his hands. Alright, so let's see what happens on this jerk right here. Alright, the dip's not bad, not bad. He could stay in those heels a bit more, but here's where we're going to make the most improvement. Oops, he actually he was just re-gripping re the bar. Oh man, two re-grips. And that starts really taxing you. Now he's out of breath. Alright, get set. This should be it. Here we go. Dip. Mm, decent job. A little bit early on those toes. You can see that already. And then that bar starts drifting, drifting in front of him. But that is plenty of height, right? He gets past his head. That should be plenty of height for him to start pushing himself underneath the bar. What happens is, one, it's a little bit too far in front, and then two, his feet stop way short. So you can see his feet right here, right? They're landing way too early. And so he has no more room to come underneath that bar. And so he gets stuck, and then has to bail on it, all right? I think for Rod's body weight, 265 should be no problem for him. Uh, maybe if we can work on that front squat and make it a little bit lighter or feeling a little bit lighter He'll have a uh, more juice for that 265 push jerk But really he should be able to get under that bar and um, kick Camille's butt <laughs> All right, keep working on it